it was for me it was decidedly entirely upon the uh, decided entirely upon the the feeling that I got when I walked in the school just indescribable like a warm feeling a feeling that um I think everyone feels when they come in here for the first time I felt like this was my school and there was really no other choice for me not even my public school at, from back home so the guidance department is definitely a big part of that so they're there to help you with anything with whether it's life whether it's college and uh, but yeah they really had guided my uh, mr. Brennan had guided my list around I was like you know I really don't want to go south I kind of want to step here in the Northeast and he's like okay and then we'll find out options which one uh, to, to visit uh, and he you know uh, heavily uh, suggests you know visit visiting early you know reaching out to seniors reaching out to alumni there um, because you find that you know the network of these schools are big but then like the CBA network to that school is big like the CBA Bucknell network is big the CBA Villanova the CBA Penn State the, the importance and the necessity for time management is the biggest thing that I've taken away and the ability to uh, it fostered my ability to organize myself and uh, you know like plan out the week ahead okay this is what I got to do and that and finding that balance between work and fun and making friends and playing sports and um, but I think that this is um, one that I think about often is really like freshman year and we had COVID but even throughout COVID Mr. DiBrianzo was like he was CBA for me really and he was everything that everyone said about CBA was in Mr. DiBrianzo um, and I've had so many great teachers from then on uh, but Mr. DiBrianzo was really the one who gave me that wake-up call and it was like you know this is what lies ahead for the next four years um, and it gave me you know a jump start into organizing myself taking good notes um, the ability to write but my favorite one of my favorites is like Holiday Express um, you know just seeing the, the faces of these people the joy in their faces you know uh, they're just like some of the happiest people in the world and they come here and we have all the students involved and it's great to see you know the other sides of these freshmen and these sophomores and these juniors and kids in my class you know and it's like wow like I've never seen that part of him um, and you see it well when they interact with people that, that have disabilities and have special needs. Sports part of CBA, I mean, there's nothing else like it. I mean, going to sports games, um, being a spectator is like one of my favorite things. Uh, you know, just like, wow, like that kid can really excel in his, in his spot. And also I find that in Pegasus Productions. Um, you know, I look at these kids and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've never seen talent like this and I never knew it would be at CBA. There's a freshman this year that walk around the hallway with a smile on his face and I see him all the time but I would never know that he has probably like one of the best voices I've ever heard his range of his voice is insane and it's just like that is what I take out of out of the classroom you know just the ability to see kids who they are and what they're good at and I've cherished that so much about CBA the little moments you know it was just all about finding you know what fueled me to keep going and I think I found that in talking to people and you know like walking the hallways and saying hi to kids and, and finding what they want out of CBA and, and trying to instrument that as best as I could and as best as the people around me could uh, into their experience at CBA and I think you know I as I say all the time like that that plaque about uh, like right behind the uh, next to the senior hallway the list of the past presidents and that like fueled me to keep going. I wanted to be on there one day. I wanted to, you know, cement my legacy here in the best way that I could. Um, and I thought, you know, maybe like I came uh, from middle school, I was the president there. And I was like, you know, maybe student council is my thing. When I came in freshman year, it was kind of like an everybody was in it kind of thing. Um, and then um, some people put their trust in me and I was honored to be that person. Um, and it worked out and I, and I was able to, you know, have all these great opportunities to talk to people and get my voice out there and the voices of other people and be able to you know go up on a podium and talk and and represent my my cba my experience at cba but also all these other experiences cba that i get to see and i get to see from my point of view well obviously i'm a senior so the like the comfortability of it all you know this is like my home really i just love the people here i've made such good friends here it's just the people I think that's probably a common answer, but just the people I'm going to miss the most. Um, it goes down from everybody, freshmen to sophomores to juniors to my closest buddies to other kids in my class, um, teachers, um, administrators, people that have really gone out of their way to help me. And um, I, I found relationships in those people. I think that's what I'm going to miss the most. I mean, also, and then on a smaller note, just like walking in the hallways. 
giving a fist bump to a nervous freshman or, or you know saying hi to one of my closest buddies talking about the weekend or you know some characters I'm not gonna not gonna forget uh, in the school walking down the hallway when my freshman year uh, in the spring we had the freshman run and uh, our speaker zoomed in uh, coach Chris Bennett and uh, I'd say this all the time but he gave us the best advice I've, I've ever heard and it was again you know walk slowly in the hallways so what I would say to freshmen is, you know, walk slowly in the hallways, say hi to everyone, have a smile on your face, you know, high five someone, give them a fist bump. Um, those little moments is what you're gonna remember. You're not gonna remember, you know, the class that you failed or the class that you aced or, you know, that test you did, didn't do well on. Um, but you're gonna remember the feelings and the, the way people made you feel.